I am a first responder for Carroll County. Basically all the small towns have at least one or two first responders. I happen to be a first responder for Lanesboro where I live and so I've been trained in CPR and the AED. I work at the new cooperative Grain Elevator in Litterdale, Iowa. Marv, he, he's a guy that would call in for his, his grain bits, how much corn beans were. He would stop in the office once in a while. When he would bring grain in, he'd, he'd always make sure he'd come in and talk to us a little bit. So he, always a nice guy. The day Marvin was in, we, we visited, and he was going to leave, so I went back to doing things that were on my desk, and all of a sudden I looked up and he wasn't there. And I know Marv can't get out the door that fast. And one of the gentlemen did say, he's down on the ground. And I looked over my desk. That's when I seen him, he was just laying there. I stood up basically and grabbed the phone because I knew that the phone cord was long enough. Went around the desk and called 911, got down on the floor by him. And as soon as I was able to communicate to the dispatcher that we needed the ambulance and it was a cardiac episode. Then I started CPR. The Litterdale first responders arrived on scene with their AED and we immediately put the patches on so we could turn on the machine and it told us to shock him so we pressed the button and then after that there was a it told us no shock to continue CPR and we continued CPR until the ambulance arrived. My opinion on CPR, everybody should take the class. Take a refresher class, just get the basics down. I support going through the Red Cross, getting CPR, getting anything they can. I've heard of the Heroes of the Heartland and I kind of watched last year's and, and this was probably two months prior to Marvin's episode. They nominated me and it just really made me speechless. No, I don't think I'm a hero. I did what I had to. To see a person go down that you know, it, it scares you, but you wanna help them as much as you can. And that's all I tried to do was help Marv till the ambulance came. He's been in and out. He's brought his family in. Um, when this happened, it happened around harvest time. So his sons, finish the harvesting for him. And so I was able to meet those boys and the nicest family you could ever meet. So we've kept in touch, he's, you know, he comes in once in a while, so we're able to say hi and I'm able to kind of look over and make sure he's okay and that's nice to be able to see.